Well, Miller, you, you were at, at the University of Arkansas in the graduate program in, in, in biology in the late 40s uh, when the University of Arkansas uh, integrated for the first time. And I think uh, uh, George Haley was was in the uh, the first uh, law school graduate, African American law school graduate, and I think y'all became good friends and had some experiences both here in Fayetteville yes. and uh, and around the South in the years afterward. We were harassed for hanging out together, even here on campus, and uh, found that we could be comfortable and welcome at the uh, Presbyterian Student Union. Uh, and we were uh, part of a group there that was interested in what was going on in Selma, Alabama uh, at the time, where there were uh, intense, uh, there was intense activity and, and, and what we call race riots. So George and I decided to go over there and see if we could get involved in what was going on uh, to some good end. While we were on our trip, we sat in at a number of restaurants. That is, we went in and sat down at a white-only restaurant, they all were at the time, practically, and demanded to be served. And sometimes we were, sometimes we were thrown out. We went into one uh, and in some town, and George stopped at the door and said, no, Miller, we won't live to get out of here. You go ahead and sit down and get something to eat, and I'll be back and pick you up later. So uh, he pushed me in, and so I, I went to a table and sat down. And he went to a store and bought a chauffeur's cap. The store would sell things to black people if what they wanted was a chauffeur's cap or something like that. He came back in wearing the cap and shuffling along uh, and said in a fairly loud voice, boss man, uh, ain't nowhere nothing I can find in town to eat. You just go ahead and eat and I'll just be all right until, until we get somewhere where I can find something and I just wait in the car. And all the other people in the restaurant were looking at us and a waiter walked up and said, oh man, let your boy sit down. We give him something to eat as if it were a great favor. And so he did and we both had a good meal and gave, even gave the waiter a bit of a tip. And when we left, George got on his side of the front seat, the passenger side, and began to chuckle. I got in the driver's seat, of course, of course, George was not the chauffeur, and drove away. And that's uh, a fairly good picture of what our lives together was. And we still are very, very close. 